Never stop learning, week 273. We're gonna take a quick look at envelope distort on objects in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015. All right, so in previous videos, I've gone over envelope distort, but I've used it on outline text. So the purpose of this video is to show you that you could use envelope distort functions on basic objects. All right, so here I've got some artwork set up. I'm gonna make a quick selection and then jump into the object menu. Down over here towards the lower middle, you're gonna find envelope distort, and we have a bunch of different options we could go with. Now I'm gonna focus on these top two over here. I'm gonna start off with make with mesh. When you click on that, it's gonna give you your envelope mesh options. All right, in here you can change the amount of rows or columns you wanna work with. Now, if you increase these values, you're gonna have more control over your artwork, but it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to work with. Now, if you decrease these values, it'll be easier to work with, but you won't have as much control. So you wanna find that sweet spot for your particular artwork. What'll help you out is turning on this preview so you can see the different rows and columns being built. All right, so I'm gonna click OK. Now that you have these different rows and columns, you can come in here and make changes to the different anchor points, and you have access to the Bezier handles, so you can continue to edit this and get it exactly how you want it. All right, so I'm gonna jump over to this other artboard I got set up. I got the same artwork. I'm gonna make a selection, go into the object menu, scroll down to find envelope distort, but this time I'm gonna go with make with warp. All right, I like make with warp because it's basically presets for your mesh. All right, over here we've got this bend set to 50%. When I bring my scroll wheel over here, I can play around and get this to look exactly how I want it. Now for style, we can switch over to a different style and then use your up and down arrow keys to scroll through the different styles and get the different looks. All right, once you get the one you want, click OK, but you're not done because this is still live. Over here at the top, notice we're making an edit to the actual envelope. If I come over here, I could edit the contents. All right, I'll bring it back to envelope. All right, over here, I could change the style if I want. We got it set to horizontal, but we could switch to vertical. I'll leave it to horizontal. We could change the bend. We have access to horizontal distortion and vertical distortion. All right, now that's for the different presets you have set up here. Now, if I bring up my direct selection tool, I can continue to make changes to this as a regular mesh. So there you have it folks, that's a quick look at envelope distort on objects in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015.